So after the feedback I got from you guys on my previous video showing the protective strips I was going to mount on my Indian Chief rear fender to offer some protection from bags, I went back to the drawing board and modelled up a rack. Now a common comment I got was that it needed to be wider uh, to offer more protection than what the three little strips and looking at it now I totally agree. And so I thought okay rather than just add more strips I think I need to make it more substantial and you know definitely make sure it's clear of the rear fender. So this is the design I came up with. And I, I wanted something still a little bit stylish. Uh, I didn't want it to be you know just boring looking rack and this underneath is the shape of the actual guard. I, I 3D printed it. Let's have a look at it and uh, see if it fits the guard well and in particular if I nailed my measurements from hole to hole. When I printed this I printed the rack in this orientation so it basically grew up from the bed up this way and if you're looking closely you can see uh, you know each layer of the print is visible on the underside. Uh, the top side takes on the finish of the bed or the plate and uh, so that's that's quite a nice finish and the sides are nice and smooth so it's all looking looking really really good I'm happy with the way it's come up and the way it's finished and it's very solid too uh, feels very strong even these these mounts here so I think it's going to work well as a rack but what I would need to do is um, I'm going to sand all this down so I have a smooth finish underneath the rack because this is the part that's going to contact the guard. I'm going to try and source some like black rubber sheet about two mil thick and I'll lay the sheet on top of the guard put this on top then with a, a pen just trace around uh, in all the, the openings and things and um, cut that out and then I think I'll well, well I think the best thing to do will be to glue it to the bottom of this rack so that way then I can just sit this on the bike bolt it down and um, take it off and on as I please I think it'd be better than having the double sided tape strips option which were going to be these guys so it's going to have three of those on the guard but I think this is you know, as per your suggestions you all gave really good tips and advice that I think it needed to be more substantial and um, yeah, you're right I think that, that was going to be enough and I think this should do a good job of keeping the the bag off the guard but anyway let's have a look and uh, see how it looks on the bike okay so here it is on the bike bolted down just with a couple of M8 bolts I think they're M8 and I'm really pleased that I nailed all the measurements that it fits like a glove. The base is perfectly shaped to the guard and uh, sits on there really, really nicely. And this is what it looks like from a bit of a distance. I think it works pretty well. And it will definitely give me a, a lot of protection. And I think the protection I need for the bag but uh, the proof's in the pudding so let's put a couple of bags on it and see how it looks so first up is the smaller uh, backpack I typically wear and I normally wear this around my bike it's got my camera gear and stuff in it I wear it on my back sorry and yeah it's definitely not going to be touching the guard that little rack is doing a good job of keeping it well away from any paintwork so that's no problems at all. I was thinking that maybe the, the rack needed to be a little bit larger and perhaps even closer to the bolt, but I think, um, I think that's working all right for this size bag. Let's put a larger bag on and uh, see what happens. Okay, here it is with the larger camera bag. And uh, again, no problems at all. It's keeping it well clear of the guard. Even if this had sort of a couple of cables tying it down, pulling it down to here, I still think it would be fine. And I'm not adverse to putting like a, a bottom into the, bo into the bag, a bit of, sort of like a really stiff foam or something to give it some um, stiffness to hold its shape at the bottom. If it means keeping it off the paintwork, no problems at all. Also, it probably wouldn't hurt to have a bit of foam in there just to uh, you know, 
give a bit of suspension to the to the bag if I've got camera gear or something in there just to soak up some of the bumps. But yeah, I think that's going to work pretty good. Now the duffel bags I'm looking at are about 500 millimeters high. The rack is five. Sorry, the sissy bar is 500. So the bag's probably going to sit just a little bit above the top of the the sissy bar which uh, doesn't worry me as long as I can securely attach it to the sissy bar and tie it down at my tie down points I've modeled into into the uh, mounting bracket then uh, we'll be good to go it's not going to go anywhere okay I'm calling this design a win I think it's come up really well I'm really pleased with the shape of it and uh, the way it looks and the way it fits. I'm just so pleased that I, uh, I nailed it first go. I have to print a couple of goes to get it right. And it's going to be securely attached. And surprisingly, the uh, 3D printed items come out very strong. It feels really sturdy. I think it's, it's worth me trying that as it is and see, see how long it lasts. See if those mounting brackets or the mounting sections uh, crack or if they hold up. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm very happy with that. I think it's going to work well. Just to keep a bag on there to keep it off the guard. I don't think it looks out of place too much out of the, off the on the bike. The only other thing I could do is perhaps look at, you know, um, angling it up a bit at the front. But I don't know. I don't want to have too, too, uh, too big sticking up too much. As it is, it's pretty well in line for top of the seat now, so I don't mind that. And it seems to, well, it works well. It definitely keeps the, the bag up off the guard, no problems at all. All right, I think we'll uh, call it quits there. So this is option two of my rear fender protection for my Indian Chief, and it's 3D printed. Thanks for watching this video, guys, and until next time, bye for now.